Alright. Make sure we're recording here, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, this, this has got me laughing. But it, here's the deal, people. It's about a floor jack. It's a 2.5 floor jack I bought about a year ago. I keep about three of those things around. Because on my place, man, if I need to change the rear end in a car or whatever I need to do or on a Harley Davidson, you know, jack it up. You know, I don't use Harley Davidson jack lifts. That's a bunch of too expensive bullshit. You know, I just use floor jacks on those. You know, uh, if you position them right, uh, they work just fine. And two by fours are great because it's a barrier between the metal, you know, and, you know, the floor jack, you know, where you raise something up. But I use the low profile you know, 2.5 floor jacks. Um, that's about the right size for the work I do. My vehicles weigh between 4,200 pounds, as far as my four wheels, 4,200 pounds to 5,200 pounds. You know, Cadillac, uh, you know, and two trucks, super crew cabs, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I like the larger vehicles. You know, I don't, I've never messed with the four-cylinder stuff in my life, and I never will. Well, I guess unless I have to. <laughs> but, oh, well, but anyway, uh, what I want to talk to about today is finding parts for shit. I can fix anything that I've ever run across. I can fix anything. But... You know, that's uh, mechanical. Uh, but finding out the name of a part to get the part, man, it can be hell. And here's something, you know, I searched off and on over eBay and on YouTube, and I would type in, um, see what happened, the part to where, you know, you got the jack handle, you know, like this, you know, and your standard hydraulic, and then you got this, you know, to where the jack handle, you know, goes into this, you know, right here. You rack it up and down like that. Okay, what happened on one of my floor jacks? I jacked up the uh, right side, right front of my 98 Dodge Ram extended cab. I did that so I could fix a leak in the tire, you know. Because I had to turn the wheel and put soap on it to find out where the hell it was leaking. You know, I finally found it and, uh, you know, took my power drill, drilled a hole where the leak was, and then took a boot plug, you know, with the T-hound, shoved in it, you know, got the leak stuff. But uh, I went to... Um, let the jack down and it was jammed some somehow you know under there so i had to take another one of my floor jacks and jack it up a little bit higher uh to get it out you know or whatever but then uh, i noticed you know when um oh hell how did that happen yeah i took out the uh, you know the screw you know, you unscrew so that the jack will go down. And uh, I just removed it completely. Finally, it broke through, you know, or whatever. But then uh, I could jack, I tested the jack. I could jack it, um, let's see, how did it work? Oh, I couldn't jack it up anymore. And what had happened, the part that hooks to a small piston Let's see, um, under this uh, lever here, you know, you got this lever. Here's where your handle goes in right here. Well, right under here, see, there's a piston that goes down that has to push up and down, you know, to pump the uh, floor jack up. 
will say it wouldn't uh, pump it up anymore. So I took this fitting off of here. You know, it's got two, uh, you know, uh, fittings here, pins that go into it, and then clips that hold them in. And uh, <laughs> what happened was a piece of metal, it's shaped like a uh, square, but then it separated on the bottom in the middle. Half of it broke off, and it's to where it hooks under a groove in that piston that goes underneath. And I thought, oh, okay, I need that little part there. But man, I had hell finding it. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't find it anywhere here on YouTube. I'd pump in uh, uh, low profile, floor jack, 2.5, uh, leather, um, uh, lever, or handle, um, oh shit, I can't think right now, I just got up, let's see, more coffee please, lever, handle, um, bracket. And nowhere, I saw where they had disassemblies of floor jacks, but nobody ever pointed out, what is that damn part called? So I can order one. So I finally tried different ways at YouTube, and I'm, I'm like, leather, I'm, here we go again, I'm saying leather, no, lever, lever. Okay, lever handle, a uh, pump, a pump lever handle bracket, piston bracket. Because see, they call that a little piston, you know, it, you know, when you jack the handle, it pushes it down. See, but it has to be able to pull back up, you know, between pushing it up and down on the handle. And here's the, uh, finally a Chinese company. <laughs> Finally, I, and I saw a picture, and I'm like, that's what I need. There it is. There it is. It's shaped like a square. It's separated on the end, and it has two claws on it that go into a groove so that when you push the jack handle down to, uh, you know, make it pump it up, well, to come back up, it has uh, these claws in a groove. It has to pull the piston back up again. So that you can push it back in. Here's the name of that damn thing, man. It's called a, a hoop claw clamp clip. Hoop claw clamp clip. <laughs> Who the hell would ever come up with that? Hoop claw clamp clip. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but you know, when I found that, it's a, uh, you know, a China distributor, no American distributor had it, by the way, you know, a lot of people say bad things about China, but I bought him the Cooney carburetor, or what is the clone of it, for 85 bucks a year ago, I've got videos on that, and it works damn excellent. And I can't tell how that the $300 McCooney carburetor for a Harley is any superior because I have several to compare it with. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. But uh, if y'all ever run into that problem, that little piece of metal that under that, you know, this gizmo right here, with the bends and where your jack handle goes in and goes up and down and up and down and up and down. That uh, that little piece of metal breaks. It's called a hoop claw clamp quilt. <laughs> what a name, what a name. Wow. There's so many things. I mean, it's, uh, I can fix anything, but the, to think of what is that called? And then you try to think up descriptions, and you keep coming up 50-handed. You know, I'd see on eBay pictures of the just the long, the jack handle, or, 
stuff like that that it's like, man, I need that little piece of metal that goes in there. I finally found it, and they're cheap. Uh, this uh, China-based company, they have 98% ratings on Evo. <laughs> oh, my God. These things are like a dollar and 40 cents each. <laughs> That's what they come out to. But I think they, uh, they'll they only sell you six of them at a time of volume of them. So I got a kit with six of them, which maybe I might need the other five in my lifetime. But uh, for set with tax and shipping came out to seven dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> I ordered it last night. But this is funny. Hoop, claw, clamp, um, uh, what was the last part? Clip, yeah. Oh my god, this is funny. This is funny, man. But the reason I made this video is because, man, anybody else that has this problem, I don't want them to think, man, I might as well just chunk this floor jack and buy another. No, people, you can get that part. You can get that part. As far as when you take this, uh, you know, lever handle right here, you take this baby off, uh, those um, pistons that go in there, I don't know what the diameter of those is, probably about a quarter inch, and they're about oh, two, two inches long. Just grab them with some pliers. You can pull those straight up and just pull them out of there. Um, some of them have two O-rings on them. Others have a natural plunger it's very same kind to the old uh, quadrajet carburetors, accelerator pump. And, uh, you know, you can just pull that out. You can also fill your hydraulic oil up at that location, too. I just use 80 weight to gear oil in those, and I've always had good luck. But you can also fill your oil up. You just push it back down in there. And uh, when you put these uh, floor jacks in storage, always have it to where the lever is all the way down. The reason why is because if the lever lever's raised up, the shiny part of that little piston under there, uh, what it is, see dust and debris collects on that and it'll make it hard, you know, for it to move. But if it's all the way pushed down, you know, the handle part will say shit can't get to it and it's protected until you use it the next time. Um, I make videos like this to help people because, man, I had hell find out what is that damn fart called? <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So that leaves me now I've got four, four good floor jacks. Anyway, you know, I like to have plenty of those babies around and jack stands. Although, using jack stands or floor jacks under any car, I'm not going to crawl under one. Hell no. I will not crawl under a car. You know, the only way I'll do that is like, if I remove an oil pan or I remove the rear end in a vehicle, you know, I'm going to uh, hire someone to help me you know, with that, and uh, I'm going to do it in a way to where that the vehicle cannot fall. You know, my life is worth a lot more than any junk uh, in this world. I don't give a damn what it is. But anyway, God, I love it. Hoop, clamp, um, hoop, clamp, claw. It's if you got to know how to uh, type it in right. Hoop, clamp, claw, clip. That's how it goes. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Anyway, uh, hey, y'all have a good day or where, whatever it's like where you're at. And remember, Jesus Christ is your Savior and it's the answer. Do people right and you'll get good results. Later, people.